And today I have my sister Michelle Wade with us again and we're going to talk about how the Grinch stole Christmas. So this is our <laughs> this is okay thank you Vanna. <laughs> this is our series for the month of December and uh, we're just going to do uh, we're going to discuss adaptations. yeah Christmas books adapted into movies. So we're going to discuss the books and the movies. I love Dr. Seuss. Um, I read this to, I read Dr. Seuss books to kids all the time. You know, Green Eggs and Ham, Cat in the Hat. But anyway, yeah, I digress. <laughs> We're going to be discussing just the Christmas <laughs> ones right now, but yeah. who knows what might come in the future. Mm. Uh, but Dr. Seuss, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. So why don't we talk about why your favorite is the original? Other than nostalgia, obviously. Or you can talk about the nostalgia too. Yeah, well, so, I mean, I remember when we were kids, there was no VCRs, no DVDs, no Netflix, nothing like that. Actually, we didn't even have computers. Oh, no, well, I remember hooking up our Texas Instruments when yeah, I was but, like 10. Yeah, but that was a little bit older. But, yeah, so, <laughs> the Grinch, what we would do is we would get the TV guide, and we would, you know, look at a paper TV the snowman, guide. and yeah. Yeah, not on the screen. Not yeah, that's, it was a it was a paper yeah. one that you buy at the at the grocery store. So store. you'd look up every every evening because they would put them on in the evenings, like you mm -hmm. know seven eight o'clock, you know. And so we we would look for every day, and you know there would be Frosty the Snowman, there'd be Charlie Brown, you know Christmas, mm -hmm. and and um, the Grinch, right? And we'd circle them, and man, you had to be there and watch it because if you missed it, that was it. There was no bridge. There was no recording it and watching it later. There was no getting it on iTunes. Yeah. No, they were just yeah. SOL. Well. So yeah, we it was it was a, a calendar. Planned Christmas calendar for us. Oh yeah. But Grinch was a, a don't miss for me. Mm -hmm. I, I really I really enjoyed it. I remember enjoying it too. Yeah. Just and I don't know. Favorite. I just I with with this one it just I don't know maybe it's just me and. And a purist, you know, off. wanting to be reading with the book, right? <laughs> but that's true. But I mean, but it is an exact. In the defense of Jim Carrey's version, it didn't take anything away from the book. No, no. it added to it. Like it, it filled in different blanks for backstory and stuff like that. Like every part of the book yeah. is in the movie. Yeah, it's they just they, they couldn't did. spread that into two different. hours, and they. Oh, is there anything in the book? Every line, I, they switched it around a little bit here and there, but it's well, they did that with the original, didn't mm -hmm. Yeah, so, but yeah. yeah. But anyway, it's it's really good, and you know, there's <laughs> the there's the line where it says he hated Christmas the whole Christmas season. Now, please don't ask why. No one quite knows the reason, <laughs> and but that's that's the Jim Carrey one. It goes into Ron Howard directing, yeah. by the way. But it goes into that background of why does the Grinch hate yes. Christmas, right? Yeah. So, so, so it keeps that whole paragraph. But yeah. It, oh yeah, it, it does. It but digs deeper. Yeah. Whoever wrote the movie just kind of <laughs> dug a bit deeper into the character of the Grinch. Plus, they made um, well for understandable reasons because it was live action, not animated. And also the fact that Cindy Lou Who climbs the mountain. Spoiler alert. Um, but, you know, she had a lot of lines. She was the main character, so they couldn't really have her be two. Plus, Cindy Lou Who in the in the animated movies with when she's two. Um, a, she's got a really good vocabulary. Yeah. B, she's very tiny. She's holding like a Christmas ball like this that fell off the tree. And it's like, she's holding it and it's like this in comparison to her size. She is a who. I know. They live in a snowflake. My point is, she's bigger in... <laughs> <laughs> she is. They they made her older. And and they they did a different take on the who. They made the who's bigger in the Jim Carrey one too. Like they were... They were still in a snowflake. Were they in a snowflake? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. if you watch the very beginning with when the movie's starting, it starts in a snowflake. And it zooms in. I never caught that part. Seriously? Yeah. Wow. Okay, Delilah, honey, you're clean. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, you're getting she gave me the cold, cold shoulder. shoulder. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, I'm giving you the cold shoulder too, there, Miss. So, um, yeah, it was it was all on a snowflake. That's pretty cool. Yeah. But yeah, so the Who's they did a. It was more in depth with the Who's too because what you see in the in the book and what you see in the original cartoon is. Um, you know, the Who's are singing, they're preparing for Christmas, they're putting up the wreaths and decorating and, and all that kind of thing. And it doesn't seem to be that much about presents and, and you know, the, yeah. and the, the struggle original. of everybody competing at Christmas and all that kind of thing, which they did in the in the, the movie, what do, what do I call it, the movie adaptation? The, Jim the Carrey adaptation. adaptation. The live action one? Yeah. Um, but the thing, but I, you know, it, it was more on. You have to look at the the time as well. Yes. Right. Because the original was done in 1957, mm -hmm. and Jim Carrey was 2000, 2002, something, like, something that. like that. So, you know, they're looking at how Christmas is commercialized. So they're kind of making a statement about that as well. Yeah. Well, I think they just. They expanded on it more in the in the Jim Carrey movie because we watched the it original say and he it wasn't talked about, about the presents. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So I think they just expanded on it more to give it a stronger theme. Yeah, but they made it more that the Who's had it about presents too, where as in the original it was the Grinch that was thinking it's all about the presents. Yeah, I suppose. And in this and one the they had who Cindy Lou Rose who Beast and telling them, you know, it's not just about the presents. Do something drastic. <laughs> drastic. It's so cute. That My kids girl. told me I might do something <laughs> drastic, which they use those kind of words at that age. Yeah. They're very, very uh, precocious. Verbal. But oh my goodness, I would have been like, okay, let's leave now. <laughs> Put all the gifts down. We'll buy them another time. Let's just go. Yeah. Let's get out. Yeah. I don't oh need gosh. to get arrested. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. This. But yeah. But yeah, so it's, I don't know, what did you, you liked the Jim Carrey one more. Yeah, I Why? think I just, um, uh, question. Um, I love Jim Carrey. Well, hmm. not all, like, I don't, I don't like embarrassing humor very much. So I, I love, I love Jim Carrey, but I can't watch all of his movies. Um, but Liar Liar I love. And this, I think, reminded me a bit of that. Like he, he even used, like he did in Liar Liar. When did, did you see the Ace Ventura movies? No. Cause I think I saw really, one. That was really Ace, Ace's kind of thing. Yeah, oh, but uh, that, that had more of the... But you know, I, no. Jim Carrey is himself in his movies. Yeah, So, but yeah. it's just some of them push it further than others. And Liar Liar I enjoyed. Ace Ventura, I think I watched the first one and that was enough. Oh man, I love it. But I think I did watch, a, I saw clips of other, I'm saying it this way, number two or number three when oh. he was coming out of the, hip, the rhinoceros. <laughs> number two, it's yeah, funny she's talking about number two and Exactly, three. that's why I said it's, yes. it's weird yeah, that I'm saying it like two. this. Only there were only two? Yeah. Okay, so it was the second one when nature falls. It was just, I saw close to that. I've, I've had boyfriends who have loved those movies. And I've been, mm -hmm. I've been convinced to watch Dumb and Dumber and, uh, and Ace Ventura and, and Will Ferrell movies. And I'm just like, no more, no more. And I have a boyfriend who likes those movies. That's fine. That's fine. He can go and watch them with his buddies. I ain't watching them. No. Pretty funny. Uh, no. I just, I, yeah. I want to put a blanket over my head. Uh, but I did love this movie, and um, I loved Cindy Lou Who, and my mother, she was watching it with us last night, and she told me how, she was saying how Cindy Lou Who reminded her of our friend Sansara. So Sansara, if you're watching this, or Christopher, um, she looks just like, you guys have a kid? Yeah, <laughs> she's gonna look like Cindy Lou Who. So, well, you, you could do the braids that way, that's kinda cool. But actually, my daughters, after watching that one, yeah. the, the Jim Carrey one, oh, they wanted, 
Mommy, do my hair like Cindy Lou Who. So I was doing little braids and then bringing them into loops Aww. and stuff. And yeah, they had the Cindy Lou Who do. Who do? Who do? Yeah, who do. Okay. Um, but yeah, she's so adorable. Like just that little face, you just want to gobble it up. Yeah, but they, she was well cast for him. Yeah, she was. But yeah, I just thought that the, the movie was really well done. And they had the theme all the way through. Mm -hmm. And it was well structured so that you were like, just the instinctual structure. I didn't, there was a stopwatch and time where each plot right. point happened. Right. But when it's not structured properly, you can just sense it instinctually. You, you get, it starts to lag on in the first or second act and you start looking at the time or whatever. And it was just, it's, it was really, really well done. I, oh, I it's enjoyed a Ron it. Howard film. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This is true. That's true. I, <laughs> you know. It's not like I would expect anything less from Ron Howard because Ron Howard, his movies didn't he do? He did um, Apollo thirteen as well. Yeah. Which I mean, I think that's a pretty long movie, and that just had me riveted. Like I just, I love that movie. It's one of my favorite, favorite movies of all time. Um, but yeah, Ron Howard, he ain't just dopey, and he ain't just Richie. He's the real deal. Really yeah, I just, I really, I really enjoyed the movie, the live action one. I mean, I enjoyed the half hour one. It, it brought, it was nostalgic because you hear that voice in a lot of cartoons back then. Mm -hmm. So it was bringing back memories of that as well as when we watched the first movie. So yeah, it was the first half hour TV movie thing. Yeah, Ron Howard, like, he, I'd, I'd be interested to know if he actually was a fan of, mm. the, of the book. If it was a passion or, project. Yeah. So uh, you know what I liked about both of the both of the adaptations, right? Mm -hmm. They. I don't know why I said that. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, both of the adaptations they added like the the first one added songs, right? They added you know, you're a mean one, mm -hmm. Mr. Grinch. Yeah, and uh, you are a heel. So there's all of those that like the, the songs. That songs make make a movie, right? Yeah. And they added little things that weren't in the book in the movie, like the there was that they talked about the who's singing, but they they actually had that song, da who do, do whatever. I don't know. The they song. had in the original too, though. No, no, You're but what I mean in my is, head again, by the way. they mention them singing here, but there's no actual Oh, words. in the book, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's what you mean. And yeah. the nice thing I liked about the cartoon as well, which of course it was, the cartoon was uh, produced by Dr. Seuss, as well as okay. the director. Okay. Um, so they added in, like he was talking about the toys, the noise, the noise, 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 right? Mm -hmm. And, but he started naming off toys. Okay. And you know the like, and you know you're like oh my goodness these are just the, the like, weirdest names yeah right? but that's not in here no but it's in the it's in the yeah and that so it's it, like the it kept preferred the preferred edition the Seussisms yeah you know yeah with just like talking that. about the background this like when with the Jim Carrey one they talked about you know the Grinch and how he grew up with the Who's and everything. And that's another thing that they touched on, which was becoming a hot issue at that time, still is, uh, which was bullying. Yeah. Right? And so you saw how he was being bullied by a little boy who was jealous of him. Mm-hmm. Right? Spoiler! Sorry. But and a, a was... little boy who was jealous of him, how the other kids joined in, yeah. but not Martha May. No. Right? She was actually crushing And on even him. the teacher was laughing. Yeah. Which annoyed me. It happens with some teachers. I know. Too, right? But it doesn't make it right. No. No. But at the same time, it, it's showing something about Plus all of that. Plus he's a different right? race. So it's like a, it's even a racial thing. Like yeah. It's, it's, because they were talking about his, yeah, how he, he, he had hair, a beard. Or, had a beard and all of that thing, all that stuff. So. Yeah, he was so different. Was, that was touched that on was the as thing. Well. He was different. He and was they, different. Yeah. But then, of course, that little weasel kid became the mayor. Yeah. But they, they, I like the fact that in the end, when when the Grinch said you no, know, no hard feelings, the mayor went and shook his hand. I like when it shows. 
characters that can be um, bad guys without being downright evil. Yeah. They can be antagonists. Yeah. Without being. So well, he was he was jealous of him really when it oh, came yeah. when it came down to because he, he loved was. Martha May she and was Martha his May liked liked the Grinch. They had that big Kuvalation thing, and he was the the cheermeister and mm-hmm. all of that. The chairman. Yeah, and and the mayor ruined that too. Like he and then he blamed Cindy Lou Who and made her feel all bad until her dad stepped still, in and defended her with like that. Still, still a bully. Still a bully. He was still bullying the Grinch. Yeah. And then bullying little Cindy Lou Who. And then the dad, and he was bullying the dad before that. And then the dad stands up to him and I'm like, yeah. Yeah, mom liked that too. Cindy's mom. Oh yeah, yeah she did. She was very impressed. So there was was the uh, bullying. Yeah. There was commercialism. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think if there was anything else that they they did differently. Not did differently, but maybe updated, and I really liked how they, they, uh, the Grinch did that Ron Howard impersonation. Oh, yeah, with the hat, and yeah, that was very cute. Yeah. I liked the additions in the, in the live action one. Yeah. Like the way they, they dug deeper into char- the characters, and, um, had Cindy Lou Who as, as the main catalyst character, if not the protagonist. Well, she was... Uh, I think the Grinch was the protagonist. He was the the very, very, very reluctant hero. The anti-hero to begin with. That was his arc. He started off as the anti-hero and then... Him um, and Batman. Yeah. And then at the end, his heart goes two sizes bigger. Um, but I really liked the way they... Maybe it was three. I don't know. I thought it was two sizes. But it showed it. Yeah, it was two smaller. sizes too small. But remember the picture when when it grows and it breaks the the little X-ray thing. Oh right. So it grew the two sizes and then grew the third size. Yeah, I stand corrected. Busted. Okay. But no, busted as the busted the thing, not you. No, she let me. <laughs> you fell for that. I got some swampland to sell you. If you notice that I keep doing that, the the thing where I go. Do you know what show that's from mm. in the 70s? Yeah. If you know, comment below. Yeah. It's ever since I watched that show, and this one character used to do it all the time, I can't stop doing it. She does it a lot. It's a, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. her thing. It's her thing. It's her trademark. Um, but, but yeah, they well, fleshed they, out the characters. They fleshed out the characters and they, they touched on some reasons out the why story. he is the way he is. Yep. Character arc, backstory, but in interesting ways. Yeah. And um, I love that Cindy H- Lou Who was the one person who wasn't afraid of him. I was going to say that, that too. I love that. That he, she would giggle at him. You know, yeah. he'd get all... And he'd, like, he'd be like, well, you know, funny. you're in denial. <laughs> You're just in denial. It's a common reaction when terrified. He prided himself on being this scary guy. And, yeah. Yeah, and she's just like, whatever. She's an adventurous gal. Yep. Oh, I loved the Martha May with the, um, when she pulled out the big gun. I want that decorator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was really cool. That was, oh, that was, cool. I like that. Did you have anything else? No. So this is our first Christmas uh, themed episode. Episode, yeah. yeah. So we're going to do another one next week, all through the month of December. We're going to talk about Christmas books that were turned into movies. Some of them you might not know were books before they were movies. I didn't anyway. Yeah. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and leave a comment. Let us know what you thought. Let us know some of your favorite Christmas movies. Yeah, so if you think of anything that uh, stood out to you, in either of the the Grinch movies mm-hmm. or in the book or have a fun story about something yeah. that happened. Yeah, love fun stories. You know, to do with that, that'd be, yeah. that'd be really cool to, to hear about. Yep. You know, it's fun to have conversation about yeah. these things, right? And I, I replied all the comments, so, and she will She's as well. She's very good at that. I'm not very good at that. I'll make sure I'll she try. does. I'll make sure she does. 
Um, but yeah, I post videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Click the bell as well. The bell yeah. as well. Now I'm talking like Dr. Seuss. Click the bell as well so that you can get an alert when I post the next video. Ring that bell. <laughs> Have a great week, guys. Stay happy, healthy, and safe. Bye. If they touch, they want, there was. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's late right here. It's <laughs> 25 after 10. Yikes. <laughs> smash that like button. Yes, yeah, smash it. <laughs> and yeah. Martha May. Maybe they did, and it's, it was, it was on the cutting room floor. Yeah. So if we buy the DVD sometime, we might see it in deleted scenes or something. I never watched the deleted scenes. That and the gag reels. Yeah, I don't watch. And the behind either. the scenes. There's only one movie that I watch the behind the scenes for. I should say, like, freely without being coerced. Um, and that was Jaws. Okay. So interesting. So interesting. Really cool stuff. But Story how do you know the other stuff isn't interesting without watching? Yeah. Yawn. <laughs>